saw this that, exact you're out matchup. of the fight. We saw this exact ma exact matchup. I'm not sure when it was, but it was recently. It might have even been in that best of three we just watched the other day. I don't think it was. I, I can't really remember. Do you know what I'm talking about? The Sven versus PL matchup? I think we've seen it recently. Mm, I, I don't recall. No. Oh. Maybe I'm going crazy, but I've definitely stars. Misses on fear. He does have storm hammer. They do have two in the snowball. He's gonna storm hammer up. They won't die this, I imagine. But that just shows you that they do have the potential to, to catch fear out of position. Wait, we'll go behind the tower. Uh, PPD pulled in it really, really early. Honestly, it was kind of interesting. He's gonna walk into lane. He's gonna head under the tree line. He's gonna get ice sharded and do He has earth spike. He's going to use it, but this is a problem. Fear doesn't have enough mana for storm hammer, and that's gonna be first blood. But it's actually split up between the creeps. His eyes low. Fear still not enough mana. Not even close, really. Yeah, they're going in. They're just diving. Snowball's gonna come through, and already this lane is turning pretty disastrously. That's not great coming up for EG. Yeah, that that pull was a lot. Here's gonna rotate around top lane. They're gonna try to go on RT. There's the Janata as well. Universe out of mana and he doesn't have Cogs for three. He's gonna just go ahead and duplicate your way. Universe can catch this. Cogs will get him. They've got Flare. No, he's out of mana. AUI's gonna come back in. No Janata for two, but they do have that Orb of Venom. There's the Janata strike coming in as slow as there. And RTZ sticks up, might survive. Oh. Solo, AUI wants this kill. The Tangle comes out. AUI's not gonna finish this. Shadow Walk, he will. The Shadow Walk extra damage comes through the 30 bonus damage. He will die to the tower, which does give the kill back to Artor. That was, uh, that was something else. Oh, that he maybe could have made the play of like waiting for the creep wave to come up so that it would aggro the tower walk away so he didn't have to die. Um, either way, kind of good plays on both sides, but RTZ with some really nice stick usage. Warcry, Earth Spike, they have to run away. They don't want to fight attack. into the Tombstone. That's not super Radiant surprising. Is it level two yet? It is only level one Tombstone. Wouldn't be that hard to kill. But Bad creep rhythm sometimes, but he's, I, I've been watching. What he's been doing is just like constantly spamming, but attacking him, auto attacking him constantly. <laughs> They're gonna war cry it up. They have the storm hammer ready to go. He's eyes gonna get hexed. They do throw up the tombstone. Now they're gonna try to bring it down with a couple of right clicks. They will. So that's gone and dealt with. PPD Arthur is like in one. He's gonna use it. It will hit up on his eye. No Janata coming through. He does have Struka Sauce. Avoids the ice shards, but PPD will go down to throw. But they might lose a lot for this. There's the storm hammer on it too. Zai about to fall. Earth, or rather, sticks up. Need, uh, they need another right click in AUI. Getting close. He already snowballed. Ice shards can come out. They're up right now. Shurka toss. Did not go. He doesn't have the mana for it. Oh. AUI's gonna fall. Sai might be able to turn this. Water punch comes out. And Fear has to use his war cry. But he can't catch up. They turn it around. Kuroki gets a killing spree. Zai will survive with 6 HP. Oh, that looked beautiful for EG. But somehow they weren't able to push from Universe, which is not too difficult to expect to go unimaginable. Let's see if they can get a kill. I don't think he's gonna go for it. They're busy dealing with mana. There's a, gonna be a snowball and double earth spike. Split earth on it too. There's the pulse in with a lightning storm coming out as well. Zai about to fall. AUI comes in. Sumail getting chased down. Is able to bottle up and S4 is gonna go. Double kill for Sumail. Oh, the illuminate. Clips him, but he's sitting at 16 HP. He will survive. Great turnaround. And that's more gold for Sumail. Leshrak. Leshrak is gonna go for the Yules, by the way. Dies nearby. This could be problematic for EG. They're going to run into fine side. They're going to go for... Actually, they're going to just jump on Kuroki. There's the split earth. Kuroki's going to get caught up. Hookshot misses from Universe. Ice shards actually help PPD out with that earth spike. No stun up for fear, but they do have that split earth. There's the battery result. Split earth, not even needed. Universe gets the kill with the flare as well as the lightning storm from Sumail. And they've turned it around yet again. They do have an ancient sector, though. So they'll know that. They'll have that... Uh... No, no, Puppy's dead. That puppy is oh, dead here. And that's a track kill too for AUI, so... Nice clean kill. They'll get out probably. PPD is gonna... get here on the high ground, I'm not sure why, but... Yep, they're, they're really good at using the smoke, so... Mid lane snowball comes in. I don't know if you want to dive this. Here's actually gonna turn. The TPs are coming in as well. Uh, Universe jumps in right as the tombstone is plopped down. Here comes the male splitter. Doesn't catch the Shruka Toss. Does not damage to Kuro. They'll have to back away. And uh, Tombstone Tomb is owning. Yeah, it's really being a nuisance. Smell's going to take a lot of damage. The Ice Sigil as well as the Tombstone. A double slow coming out with the Death Blast and the Sigil. PPD almost dies to that Ice Shard. But he'll stay alive. And they will not lose a single hero on either side. Or well, maybe they will. Yule's up onto the TA. So the angle might go. At first, it's going to be that Split Earth, which was beautifully timed, and then an easy kill coming out from EG Radiant as well as uh, S4 plays a bit too far up, and he, he goes down for it. Uh, that was attack. definitely a mistake. He shoots his hooks, unfortunately. And I think the main thing is that they're buying time for this, this Sven, because otherwise Dyer's this Sven would have been completely tower. useless. He's actually going to go... He's a DD, by the way. One, yeah, two. 
He was trying to blinding light, I believe, with his ultimate, but it ends up not working out. So Puppy goes down to fear. That's another clean kill for him. They're going to TP mid. Sumail looking for another split out here on the S4. He'll connect it. There's the Earth's Spike. The Lightning Storm coming out as well. Big finger from PPD. It's the kill. Hope shot on the Kuro as well. But Sumail's kind of running out of mana right now. But the Edict was already going to pulse up as well. And he's just got to fall as well. It's a dominating crew for Sumail. Even without the mana, he doesn't need it. They actually clean Kuro up pretty quickly. Oh, but Universe might be in trouble here. TP coming through from the Keeper of the Light if they hit an Illuminate. Oh, the Earth Spike this time from PBD Ice Shards. Not going to connect. Roll hit on the PBD. Sumail has enough mana for Splitter. He's going to use it. No. He actually misses it. Now Secret looking to back away. Here comes AUI. Storm Hammer. Only on the one. Shruka Toss comes in. Bounces to both of them with that new change to Shruka Toss. And they'll clean up a kill. They will not get Puppy. Maybe Universe can flare. He's got it in one. Puppy's going to try to juke this. One. And the damage increase is not that much higher. But the mana increase is. When do you level up that, that second level of pulse up as he goes on S4? That S4 is taking so much damage. Uh, he has refraction in 8. He's just and ML, but. Oh, good oh, choice. Universe sees him, though. There's the hookshot, and Universe will help clean up the kill with Snail. Uh, meanwhile, PPD into the top jungle. Kuro is getting chased down by two Invis heroes. But wasn't there quite in vision. And uh, they're gonna go on bottom. Looks like Snail Ice Shard's gonna go in. Actually, he's gonna stay alive for the time being. He's gonna use his Yule Scepter. Walrus Punch comes out. This could be a big kill. Sumail in trouble. Blinding Light is back as well. Splitter not gonna connect, and that pulse over does damage, but not nearly enough. And Kuroki gets the kill. That's huge coming out. Secret get that big, much needed kill on Sumail. But meanwhile, mid, they are losing their tier one tower. Actually, th I'm pretty sure, although I could be wrong, that if you spam do Doppelganger fast enough, you can get out of. The Split Earth combo, unless, I, I think, I don't even know if you can time it immaculately. Maybe you can, but it's hard. Yeah, turn rate, whispering. I mean, turn rate in Dota in general is an issue, but it's literally there. Track's gonna be up on Puppy. AUI is chasing it down. AUI, by the way, going mech. He already has the Buckler, so Guardian Greaves this game, which I think is a pretty great choice. They're gonna throw up the Shrooken Toss. The Flare's gonna come as well, and Puppy's just dead, I believe. AUI will get the kill, and it's a track kill at that. And now they're gonna clean up this creep rate and push the push into the tower bottom. But meanwhile, Arteezy Radiant's doing a great job pushing, at least just getting a lot off the map while his team is dying or, or just trying to survive elsewhere. He will be able to doppelganger away. Sumail will not be able to chase him down. I was going to go ahead and try to chase him down, but I, it's going to be tough. Arteezy has doppelganger back up in five, and Sumail's just not fast enough with only regular boots and speed, and Arteezy has the boots to travel on Yashi. Gonna get turned on, and he just got this blood, so this could be a huge kill. Warlow's punch. He's gonna Yule's up right now. They're gonna be the track on his eye. Blink back away. There's gonna be the mech coming through as well. AUI keeping him alive. They turn it around. Meanwhile, on the other side, they have Universe. They bring him down with the tombstone. Arteezy and AUI going toe to toe, but they'll back away. S4 does have that blink dagger. They have to text on Kuro. AUI's gonna head the opposite direction. He has a net worth lead for EG and Secret. They, they do have potential to come back here, but they have to take a good fight or maybe just rat like we were talking about. But Arteezy is in trouble. Uh, he's going to get jumped on. Blink comes through. Warcry, they need a hookshot. He's going to doppelganger and gets away in time, but hookshot's still available. He's going to Manta, and he actually is going to fall. He just went to the top lane, and they did, get, they did get the track off. That's absurd. The last second now, we got the track. That's so important. He's going to blink away from Arteezy. He doppelgangers. And... I think they were actually both scared of each other <laughs> for a second there. Or TC sees PPD running away now. He's like, oh, you're scared of me. And actually, the snowball comes in. I think PPD's dead. Yeah, soft. I, I, I thought someone was going to come in and help him out, but that's not the case. Instead, they're going at Kuroki, so... Four for support. Good trade. Careful of... You saw that when he had his Yasha. Arteezy was trying to hit him. Hold that thought. Puppy's going to get jumped on. He's like, Arteezy, please save me. And he might get the kill on PPD, but he does end up falling to the end. AUI does get a dominating screw from that. Arteezy gets back into the game with a nice kill with his Diffuser Blades. And they know that. The right click, obviously, from Sven. We don't care about that. For now, it, it feels as though they have, they have ways to Radiance top get these kills. They're going to bring in a score. They're going to jump in with Sumail. Puppy's going to get absolutely destroyed. It's a lot of lightning in his face, but he's not dead yet. Ruby Toss. No, it's the Storm Hammer that gets the kill. And Sumail picks up another one on the backside inside. Fear in trouble, rather, and four in trouble. He's got the edge. Sumail getting low. Explosive comes out, but he does go down to Arteezy. Big turnaround there. The Cleave coming in, but there's the hook shot through the dead body. Bro. And Universe is going right off our tour. Former team. Doppelganger's out. He'll make it away for now, but here comes PPD. He's going to be able to force him. He actually doesn't have a meta. He uses the finger. Your spike gets the kill. As for the only surviving member of Secret. And it looks like he will make it away for the time being. Here comes Sumail, Youth Scepter. He won't make it away. Throw it up into the air. 
And it looks like the pulse never should clear this up. He does have the ages, but Fear is getting ready for another Stormhammer. Mel might come out. Uh, he's just gonna get Stormhammer to die. He tried to run away. Nothing he could really do there. And that is a complete team wipe coming out. Evil geniuses run directly at the face of Secret. They were not ready for it. Samael is so far, he literally just bum rushed him and yeah. just went in. And That's just, the correct turn for it. Didn't care at all because he is so far. He is so tanky. Oh, you so. lord, this might not be the fight for EG. They're gonna get jumped off with an entire smoke. AUI does have a shadow up, but Fear will fall for sure. He's down for 70. Now, Universe gonna try to TP away. Ice Shards, the blinding light push, but it's not enough. The Mana Clique didn't do enough to stun him there. And that's a pretty big kill. That smoke does clean up Fear for 60 seconds. And he just didn't get hit at all. I think okay. he evaded a lot of the attacks from PL2 Solar Crest. Blink can not afford a dagger, I don't think. Yeah, he'll be alright. He actually blinked dagger. Uh, they're gonna jump in. Here is back. He fought back. Hiroki tracked up. He's gonna fall first. It looks like the last right click not coming up. Big dank rip coming in from Kuro with the last right click here. There's the crit. And one more does the job. Five back. They get three kills out of it as Keeper of the Light falls elsewhere. A little bit more towards the north of the engagement, and each that's, bomb that's rush the was the term you used, I believe. Yeah, but that's the that's the only way yet you can really approach the high ground defense against a Cardalus. Just rush them and give no regard to it. This is a all-in Roche play coming out from Secret currently, and I well, guess we just flared it. Universe is getting ready to go. They will take this pretty quick, so Universe might just jump in and he will hit the other of the two. The Kog's push Sarkis up to the high ground. He does have Doppelganger. He's going to use it to get away. As for will fall. Universe is alone with Meanwhile, They're trying to take down Kuro. Universe is going to go down to the solar. Oh, well, he's gonna trade his life for it. Now RTZ thinks about jumping in, but decides against it. After he sees his two supports slaughtered in front of his eyes. Even he gonna jump on his eye as well. He's got no mana. AUI going to work. He's got his Shuriken Toss to stick back up. Might even get a kill out of this, but no, there's the Storm Hammer. Fear gets the double. And not only that, but they will secure Roshan as well. Smell's gonna clean this up quickly and eat it. This is gonna be their road. Being to the hero, and then they initiate for you. That sounds pretty fantastic. Puppy's gonna get Don Splitters looking at them both. That false one is going. He's just running at them. Sheba's guard's gonna go. I don't think he really cares either way. He's gonna use up. Make sure he doesn't get caught out. Good blinding light. Storm Hammer will not get the kill. Pretty low, but not low enough. Fear did pop his god strength. There's the lower front from the backside. Don's gonna get jumped on and brought down. Puppy was low, but he does get out of the fight alive. So one for nothing. God strength was expended. Cooldown's pretty long for that. He plays, Puppy's gonna come back and use the blinding light as well. Tracks up. Universe gonna hook shot and misses. It's only a cooldown for 10 seconds. He does have that ass after, so. He kind of just went right through the upgrade, so it's kind of awkward. S4 and RTD looking for some way to defend this. They, they really don't want to lose a second instead of rags. Nobody does. They're gonna use the manly kind of fear. Jump in Hex. Now that four goes right on the TV, but Universe is able to hook shot in onto Puppy, and that will secure the kill. Here, man fighting Arteezy. He's gonna doppelganger away. Kuro might not be so lucky. Aim by the backside gets you another kill. Kuro. And Arteezy going to walk away, but the, the rook's already gone now. And they won't walk away. Arteezy tracked up and brought down. No, Doppelganger keeps him alive, but the last second, the last flare from Universe, and that is it. Game one is going to go to Evil Geniuses and an absolutely stellar performance drought. Yeah, it, it was really on the back of I would say Samael, but just also just amazing movement from both Aoi and PPD. But their movement and their smoke inks were, I think, 100% effective. Like, every single smoke ink, they got something big. But a lot of it had to do with kind of overplaying their lead from Secret. They had an amazing lead. It was early, like, 6-1 to one, or maybe even 6-0 to zero or something. They pushed the bottom tower.